Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning everybody, how are we going today? Well we're out at the camper trailer. Now in my um, uh, end of trip review video, you heard me talk about LED lighting and that we weren't really satisfied with the lights we had. Um, the yellow light, the one yellow light strip we had was really, really dim and the dimmer didn't work on it. So it stayed dim and when my wife turned the white light on to do cooking of the night time of course all the bugs came in and it was an absolute pain. Um, and of course you can't cook your meal, your dinner there until the sun goes down because you get swarmed with flies. So we were getting swarmed with flies during the day and swarmed with other flying bugs and beetles and moths and everything else of the night time. So, in order to do that, I've taken some actions. Now, I'm going to show you, well, you can see the lights there. They're both yellow and white, and they've got a black switch and a yellow switch. There's no dimmers on this to mess up. There's nothing. And there's three of those. Uh, one of them is uh, 670 millimeter. Uh, and these two are 450 millimeter. I think that's the actual length of the pole, not the length of the lights, because if you have a look at these two, we put them in line here, and we go down here, this one actually has an extra LED in it. And yeah, anyway, so I think that's uh, that's just the way the light strip cut cuts, I'm assuming. All right. Okay, let's go into this, this isn't for everybody. Now these come from, um, these come from, Drifter Camping and Four Wheel Drive in New South Wales. Okay, now I've got all my information hidden there. But you can see for the two 450mm lights, two, they were 158 for the pair. For the one 670 millimeter, it was 123. For the three pole extension leads, 3.5 millimeter, that's one, two, three. They were $39 for the three. LED power supply cable two was $24, so that's $12 each. They only sent me one. I did ring them. Um, they immediately put the other one in the post, apologies. Um, and that's on its way, complete with a tracking number and everything else. And power splitter by three, so that's a one into three power splitter. All right, uh, that was $15. Subtotal is $358.99. Australia Post from New South Wales to Western Australia, $24.20. And um, total cost of $383.20 including GST. Now that sounds like a lot of money just for three lights and a few extension leads. But as we all know, if it's got camping or RV or anything to do with um, getting away and having fun, um, that tends to be a bit on the expensive side. Uh, now, so this might not be an answer for you. It might even not be an answer for me. But what I'm going to do now, I've turned the power on. Have we got some voltage here? Yes, we've got 13.2 volts. Lovely. I've got a lighter here. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to put this power outlet, a three-way splitter, and then I'm going to hook up all these lights and show you how they work. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I've got it all wired up and ready to go. It's I haven't used the extensions because we there's no need to this. But what I will say is I do like the way these plug together. You can see they've got a thread on them, and 
This one's got a little cap. They got an O-ring. And when you plug them together, you screw that cap on. And there's just no, they just won't accidentally fall apart. You know what I mean? So the wind comes up and the, your wires start wriggling. In, um, they're not just going to pull apart and leave you in the dark. I like that. All right, so we'll have a look at the yellow light first. And you can see they're actually quite bright. They're a lot brighter than the ones I've had before. Now that's the um, 670 millimeter one. And that's going above where my wife cooks. So that should give her enough light. I like the feel of the switches. They're a very positive. And that's white. Whoa, that's bright. Okay. You couldn't see that because the camera instant, instantly dimmed down. Now we'll have a look at the 454, what are these here? 450 millimeters. And that's going to be bright enough to see your way in, around what you're doing under the annex. That just dim the camera down, but that, that works really well. I like the feel of those switches and of course the white ones are very bright but you try not to use white whoops that one just fell over okay now the way these attach is they just simply attach they got these plastic little clips pop riveted on you can see that quite plainly and they just simply click on to your tent railings and um, I'll just be running that inside the uh, channel in the uh, batwing awning. I'll just be running these leads. They'll stay in the awning permanently, those three. And so all I have to do is mess around with these. Now, during a hot uh, day, we might have, or a hot night, we might have an electric fan, a 12 volt electric fan plugged into this outlet. But I do have another 12 volt outlet over there on a totally different circuit. I explained once before the, on the DC side, uh, the left hand side of the trailer is on a totally different circuit to the right, right hand side. Again, that's just for redundancy. So if anything goes wrong, and it's pitch black and I don't have the time to fix it. On either side, I've got power on both sides of the unit um, on, on different circuits. All right. Um, so we're going to uh, test them when we go camping. What I needed was some small compact lights because this is not a very, very big camper trailer. It is perfect for our needs. But we have to uh, put those lights in there as well. So it was a, a space limiting issue for us. Um, they do sell a longer light. It's over a metre long, one metre, 1.2 metre or something. You'll have to look on their website for that. That's uh, Drifter Camping, four-wheel drive trailers or Drifter Kitchens. Um, they make wooden slide-out kitchens for trailers as well. Okay, um, for now, um, until I really test them, I mean, they look really good. The switches, I mean, can you hear that? And the switches have got a nice little rubber cover and they're recessed in this waterproof coating. Um, I don't think these are waterproof. They're probably water resistant. I'm not going to test that out anyway. Uh, but yeah, for us, you know, if these work well, then that's the answer. It was a quite expensive answer, but hey, you go out bush to have a good time. You, you go and relax, um, you know, so the missus can look at the wildflowers and take the photos. And um, yeah, so anything that is an end you know, helps that, it's got to be a plus. It's got to be a plus, in my view. All right, so if you're interested in, in, in this, Drifter sells quite a lot of stuff, actually. Now, they get these made to their specifications. 
Um, well, there's also one that is actually a tent pole. Um, but it's a twist lock and I don't like twist lock tent poles. I've had bad experiences with those all collapsing. So I didn't worry about going down that track. All right, so there's an update. Uh, what else? I've got some, I'm picking up some new chairs on Monday because the chairs we have just simply take up too much room. And I've bought these awesome fold up chairs that take up no room at all. And we'll have a look at those in another video on Monday. I've still got some video footage I have to um, put together and upload, but quite frankly, I've had this really bad flu. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but, and um, it's, yeah, I just haven't felt like uh, doing much at all. So, all right, that's it, people. That's uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, We'll, we'll have a look at them uh, on our next camping trip, what they're like around the campsite of a night time. Um, hopefully this uh, GoPro 7 is good enough to pick it all up. Alright, keep safe everyone. Bye for now.